Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about feasibility in clinical research with some questions and answers. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Welcome to our questions and answers session on feasibility in clinical research. Let us dive right in. Why is feasibility important in clinical research? Feasibility is important in clinical research as it helps determine the viability and practicality of conducting a study. It assesses various factors such as patient availability, resources, timelines, and potential challenges. Thank you very much for your answer. Let us now take a look at a second question. How can feasibility impact the success of a clinical research study? Feasibility plays a crucial role in the success of a clinical research study by ensuring that all necessary resources are available and that potential obstacles are identified and addressed beforehand. It helps to minimize risks and maximize the chances of obtaining reliable results. Very interesting. Let us come to the key factors. What are the key factors considered during feasibility assessment for clinical research? Key factors considered during feasibility assessment include patient recruitment potential, availability of suitable facilities, expertise of investigators, regulatory requirements, budget considerations, and ethical considerations. Let us now talk about the practical side. For example, considering a new company. How can a medical startup company seek help on feasibility topics? Interesting question, which may help a lot of people. A medical startup company can seek help on feasibility topics by engaging with contract research organizations, academic institutions, experienced consultants, or collaborating with established researchers who have expertise in conducting clinical trials. Let's come to the next question. What kind of assistance can a medical startup company expect to receive regarding feasibility? I am happy to answer this. Assistance regarding feasibility can include guidance on study design, patient recruitment strategies, identification of appropriate trial sites, estimating costs and timelines, navigating regulatory requirements, and assessing potential risks and challenges. Exciting. So, are there any specific resources or databases available to assist with feasibility assessments in clinical research? Yes, there are several resources and databases available that provide information on patient populations, investigator expertise, site capabilities, previous trial data, and regulatory requirements. Examples include public databases like clinicaltrials.gov or commercial databases provided by vendors, Maybe a question for all medical startups. Can outsourcing feasibility assessments be beneficial for medical startup companies? Outsourcing feasibility assessments can be beneficial for medical startup companies as it allows them to leverage the expertise and experience of professionals who specialize in conducting feasibility assessments. This can save time, reduce costs, and improve the overall quality of the study. And a last question. How early in the research process should feasibility be assessed? Feasibility should ideally be assessed early in the research process, preferably during the planning stage. This ensures that any potential challenges or limitations are identified and addressed before significant resources are allocated to the study. Thank you for taking the time to answer all my questions. Your insights have been super helpful and I genuinely appreciate it. Maybe we can do another questions and answers session soon. I think you had some nice questions. So a big thank you for watching our video and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. By the way, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. We look forward to see you next time.